The Checkpoints is presented by pharmaceutical company GM Pharma. Radisson Red Hotel, located on Daoud Armashenebeli Avenue, was opened in the former post office building. The hotel has 111 rooms, including standards to suites. To renovate and preserve the building's original appearance, over 28 million USD was invested. At this point, about 100 people are employed at Radisson Red Pilisi. Along with the business sector, the official opening ceremony of Radisson Red Pilisi Hotel was attended by Georgian Prime Minister Irakli Garibashvili and Pilisi Mayor Kaha Kaladze. The head of the government thanked the investor for an important support and pointed out that 28 million USD has been invested. A new top notch hotel of the Radisson Red brand is the first in our region. I would like to express enormous gratitude to the investor company. The project investment amounts to 28 million USD and it employs 100 people. I also want to emphasize with pride that we are all excited about the fact that this historical post office building has been renovated and most importantly yet another modern five-star hotel was enriched our capital and our country, Rakhil Garibashvili said. Magagli Rusheli Commercial Director Lopatas Pariser declares that there was a low activity in the direction of international tourism in Kajeti this year, despite the 90% occupancy of the hotel in July and August. The representative of the tourist facility explains that among the vacationers, mostly local guests prevailed and attracting international vacationers remains a challenge, according to her. The number of vacationers from United Arab Emirates has decreased in Lopatas Pariser this year. The summer season went well, but the expectations were much higher. Markets have changed. We lost visitors from the United Arab Emirates. The figure was down by about 55%, which had a big impact as it's very difficult to replace such a large percentage with another market. For example, tourists from China don't arrive on scheduled direct flights. They visit Kajeti with tours, don't stay and return to Tbilisi. Therefore, in terms of international tourists, the situation in Kajeti was very difficult as for September the season is going well due to the activity of our loyal customers, says the commercial director of Lopotas Spa Resort. Women's clothing, shoes and accessories brand Matters declares that the Georgian brand plans to export its products abroad as well as to add men's line. According to Elene Kahit, the co-founder of Matters, the company has also started working on shoes this year until now. We have offered our customers only clothes and small amount of accessories, but today women can choose a total look with us. In the future, the brand plans to work more actively in the direction of shoes and export its products. We also want to add a man's line, Kahit said. Speaking about raw materials, the founder notes that Georgian companies are facing great difficulties due to the scarcity of raw materials and suppliers. Matters, a Georgian brand of women's clothing, shoes and accessories appeared on the market in 2018 with an investment of 3,000 lari. Matters employs five people. The brand also collaborates with three tailors and various companies. The average monthly production of the brand is 300 units. In the international market, its collection is presented in Poland and Israel. The company is successfully operating on itsy.com platform at this stage, Matters products can also be purchased online on the website www.matters.g as well as on Facebook and Instagram pages. The hotel complex Park Resort Tsaltopo, located in the center of Tsaltopo, has expanded. As the founder of the company, Badrika Kabadze, says in an in conversation with BMDG, 5 million lari has been invested in the expansion. According to him, Bank of Georgia and Enterprise Georgia also took a financial part in the expansion of the complex. As for the specific details, 13 new rooms were added to the existing hotel building. The Balneological Spa Center was renovated and a new restaurant space in Merulieski Zebi was open. Tsaltubo is developing step by step. Our group invested a total of 25 million lari in Tsaltubo. There was a demand for growth. Guest number increase made us decide that 30 rooms were not enough, so we added another 30 rooms, renovated this past center, which is a kind of healing space, and also we opened a new restaurant, says Padri Kakabadze. The opening ceremony of Park Resort Tsaltubo was held on September 30. 
representatives of the local government attended the event. Hotel Panorama Bakhmaro was opened in Bakhmaro last year. As the owner of the Hotel Georgi Kechakmadze told BMDG, the hotel is preparing for the winter season. Bakhmaro is attractive in every season, however, the outstanding period is winter and summer. This year we had a lot of vacationers, Georgian guests as well as foreign tourists. We had to invest quite a lot in the construction of hotel as of today. The financial resource that we have already spent for the arrangement of the place is more than 700,000. Larry, this is our family business. We did it with our own funds, says Georgi Kejagmatze. The gin producing company Netari was appeared on the Georgian market since the spring 2023 and offers customers dry gin. The founder and director of Netari, Otar Tachanidze, talked about the news and future plans of the brand in an interview with BMDG. The idea of making gin appeared in 2020, then there was a two year period of studying production technology. The sale of the product started in spring 2023. We offer our customers a dry gin called Netari. The raw materials used in the production are of the highest quality, says the director of the company. The company produced 1,000 bottles of gin this year, which we distilled and bottled in Tbilisi. The raw materials used in production are imported from six countries, Indonesia, Turkey, Bulgaria, Albania, Hungary and Spain. In addition, the director of the company spoke about the challenges in the market and noted that the main challenge is the lack of professional experience. The production of the mentioned product is a novelty for the Georgian market and therefore the main difficulty is the lack of professional experience in this field. We are trying to raise people's awareness in this regard. At this stage, we are actively working with representatives of Horeca sector, he said. Netari products are sold in the chain of Alcorum as well as in the online store valley.store.g. Hotel Hamu Mukhrani, located in the center of Mukhrani village, is already planning to expand. Hotel manager Anna Gabashvili told BMDG, Our 18-room hotel offers unique design, which includes the synthesis of wood, clay and other high-quality materials and provides a warm atmosphere. It should be noted that the hotel is located in the middle of Mukhrani village and creates a very quiet and cozy environment for guests to relax. We plan to expand in the future, which means increasing the room now number 215, she said. In addition, the manager said that the hotel is focused on high-income customers and the price of a room ranges from 200 lari to 300 lari, depending on the season. Gabashvili also spoke about the customers' attitude and difficulties in the market, which are related to the shortage of personnel in the sector. The hotel also has a restaurant which serves not only vacationers but also external guests. Along with the expand of the hotel, the expansion of the restaurant is also planned. The hotel was opened in September 2023. Wood teens products, which pro manufactures handmade wooden accessories, are exported abroad, as the founder of the brand, Tamta Mosiashvili, said during a visit to TV program, Women's Narrative negotiations have already begun and in 2024, wood teens products will appear in Italy, Germany and the USA. Various types of accessories are made under the wood teens brand, brushes, earrings and bracelets. Up to 700 different designs and brushes are presented in our collection. The collections change and update over time. At this stage, we have several directions, Tamta Mosiashvili said. Wood teens products are made of wooden organic glass, the average cost of which ranges from 10 lari to 15 lari. The brand is represented on the market for five years and employs eight people. The Checkpoints is presented by pharmaceutical company GM Pharma.